we can also cheat him. We can cheat him. Oh, you're kind of on a, so you don't have to be lying there anymore. Oh, walking? Yes. Yeah, that's brown. No, my disposable Oh, yeah, yeah. Can we get Camille? I'm here. You want to get that, like, toss up in the frame? Toss up? Like, the toss yeah, yeah. with the, you want to get that in the frame? Up and also tell him a little bit more. Yeah. One more, one more. Uh, Sorry, it's a little, okay, camera ready? Sound? Ready? Roll sound. Speed. Roll camera. Rolling, mark it. Scene four, Charlie. Take one, soft sticks. Mark it. Action! My name is Lily Cormier-Stum. And my name is Theo Christensen. And we are co-directors on Down Among the Dead Men. So Down Among the Dead Men is a chilling kind of supernatural horror story about a young teenage soldier named Anton who is sent on a mission with two other boys to find this lost captain inside a mysterious woodland mire. When they're inside the woods, they come across uh, these talisman, basically at the start from the locals, uh, some kind of warnings. Uh, they disregard them and they come across a bunch of dead bodies from the uh, previous party and uh, yeah, it ends up infecting one of the other guys and it turns into quite the dark mess. I think we knew that going into it. We knew that this was like our last year and we wanted to kind of embrace the full professionalists that we can actually be on set. So everyone was really down to like just do everything to the T of how we're supposed to do things. I think in terms of like what we wanted out of this experience, it was how can we run a professional set? And that's what we kind of reflected on the day of, from our first AD all the way down. It was a lot of effort to really find like stuff that's going to be time period accurate. All of those little pieces of set deck and like the um, vintage clutter was a big part of it because it needed to be a space that looked lived in, especially because it had this contrast to the outdoor space. Like this was a space that was too comfortable and too established and that this general, he, he stays in, inside this tent and he has a life of luxury while these boys are out, you know, fighting for their lives against the elements and against whatever may be out there. We had multiple different location moves and that was obviously challenging for everybody, uh, for the whole crew, like having to move, you know, at least once a day, every day through just different parts of the forest, trudging through like the mud and the rain and uh, in general the elements. We were really in an exposed area, so it was a lot about just kind of like keeping as many people dry as we possibly could. Yeah, the crew really persevered throughout this entire shoot, especially in the Sunday through, this, uh, through the rain. Uh, there was lots of mud going through there, so they were definitely really great for supporting us in that. Just like lots of heavy equipment, lots of, uh, everybody was really organized, which was great. It was just great to be around people that were just there to work and really just do something great. I don't think we would have gotten the results that we did if we didn't have such a motivated and straightforward team that really knew what they were doing and had a very clear idea of what was happening. My biggest thing is like I wanted to come out of it like having learned something and feeling like you know I got an opportunity to try new things and I think that was definitely achieved on this production. I really think it was like a good last final step before we enter real world stuff and graduate out of the program. Great stuff, Nora. Good job.